Hello, my name is Charles Court, and this is the Edward Troy exhibit, Home is Where My Horse Is, at the Eastern Shore Art Center. This is Edward Troy, and this is actually the first exhibit with this actual photograph of Troy uh, exhibited. It was found at the Smithsonian Institute, and we're very pleased to show the picture of Edward Troy. Edward Troy was born in Switzerland, immigrated, lived in England, grew up in England, immigrated to America in 1831. He moved to Mobile in 1849. This is actually a painting, a self-portrait that he painted of himself at Spring Hill College, which is now at Yale University. I, I, I want to show you some portraits later of humans that he did, but also his specialty were thoroughbred racehorses. This beautiful white mare is called Gamma. Gamma was from Nashville at the Bell Mead Mansion, was a foundation mare at the Bell Mead Plantation. Uh, she had run well at Nashville, Franklin, and Columbia, Tennessee, and even beat Wagner, a famous horse, on October 2nd, 1840 in Nashville. This is a print that Edward Troy made when he left Mobile in 1855. He went to London. He made this print, brought a hundred of them back with him from London. But Lexington is undoubtedly the most potent stallion in the history of American horse thoroughbred breeding. Lexington was owned by Richard Tenbrook, a, a man who was also head of the Bascom Track in Mobile over near the Magnolia Cemetery. And Lexington's uh, genealogy is so important that in this year's Kentucky Derby, I, I challenge anyone to go to pedigreequery.com and find a horse that does not have Lexington in its uh, bloodline. Uh, the, Lexington was the grandfather of seven of the ten first Kentucky Derby winners. The very first trainer who won the very first Kentucky Derby is this man right here, Ansel Williamson. He was owned by a man from just north of Selma named Thornton Boykin Goldsby. Ansel was later sold to a man in Kentucky and uh, then granted his freedom at the end of the Civil War, went on to continue raising horses and won the very first Kentucky Derby as a trainer. He's in the Kentucky Derby Hall of Fame. Nobody in Alabama knows who he is. I think people in, in Dallas County and certainly Alabama should be very proud of Ansel Williamson. And without Edward Troy painting this painting, we would never have had an image of Ansel Williamson. Edward Troy is, is, is well known for uh, uh, painting human beings with dignity and respect. And you can see this man is Ed Brown, who became a very famous jockey. Uh, these are, this is a painting called Richard Singleton. And uh, just the uh, interesting aspect of the African-American trainers. It's just such a fascinating story. And without the Swiss immigrant, Edward Troy, we wouldn't have had these images.